All right, boys and girls, we are back. We are going to uh, record this stuff offline because uh, it will not let me um, stay online. Streamlabs drops, disconnects me, and I'm tired of their bullshit. So um, we are going to uh, just record this way. So until I can get this straightened out, Everything is going straight to YouTube. Nothing's going to be on Twitch. And you guys can uh, I'll either stream on YouTube. You can follow me over there. Or uh, <clears throat> you can just go there, sub, and watch um, at your leisure. Make sure you watch it on double speed. Okay? Um, as I was saying previously, when I kept getting disconnected from Twitch, um, in the offseason, I got a uh, five-year extension that I signed. Um, so that's good. Um, we had like five guys go in the draft and nobody transferred out. We didn't get any transfers in. So all of that stuff is good. And, uh, and we're all, we're all good as far as that goes. And, uh, give me one second. I got to turn off discord so it doesn't noises in the background. Um, so we're going to do the whole off season by myself. Um, kind of getting myself ready to start doing shorter um, episodes for YouTube where I just record that way and learn how to use this uh, DaVinci editing program so maybe I can get a little more professional much shorter episodes that you guys can digest um, a lot quicker so well we'll run experiment <clears throat> anyway so we're off to the recruiting I have four spots left we need a quarterback a halfback a tight end and a D end so let's try to knock those four guys out see what we can do um <clears throat> yeah six thousand points so um, i'm just gonna give him uh 50 points that should take care of him we're gonna give him uh let's see 3500 roughly five thousand maybe i should go yeah, 35 should do it. You have to go more than 3,000 on him. I don't think they'd do that, so we'll go there. Let's go 3550, and that'll get us on an even number. <clears throat> Running back. We'll go another 3,000 here. We'll come back and edit some of these numbers. Um, One thirty-five backs. So that's good there. This guy, a little up twelve hundred up. So let's go. Go three thousand there. That puts him over four thousand behind. That's 3,000 there. Get him up to 35, 30, we'll go 3,400. All right, that leaves us at 5,000 more to go. So let's give each of these guys another thousand. So forty-five. go 45 we'll make him 4,000 we'll give all the rest to McFadden I wish the menus would quit jacking around like that. All right. Go there. All right. We should be good to go. Should be good to go. All right. I'm going to save. So I at least get to this point. Oh.
All right, so let's go from here and uh, advance the week and see what happens. So. <coughs> These teams are going to put 2,000 to 3,000 points on, on their guys, and they might go all in on one guy. Usually it's something they absolutely have to have. You know, it says on their thing it's a need. So um, we'll wait and see. Should be able to get this QB. Most worried about the uh, tight end, though. Tight end and D-end. We need, we need all four of these guys, so we'll just wait and see. Hopefully with the new game, these uh, pages like this will advance quicker. Um, I know it's going pretty fast right now going through all these guys, but you're going to go from a PS3 to a PS5, so it should be a lot quicker. All right, and we got the four guys we wanted the most. We, we could have used a corner, but I'll, I'll get one next year. And uh, we're in really good shape. We got a top, top five class. We were number two at one point. So I don't know um, how high we'll stay. Um, he didn't sign with anybody, so he's going to be a JUCO. We're going to have to face this guy because we're going to change conferences. All right. Let's move these guys down in numerical order. There we go. So this guy is a five-star, number three overall quarterback with 96 accuracy. So we're in really good shape. I think we have a couple of JUCOs in here. There's one, D-tackle JUCO, the linebacker JUCO. These guys are just going to buy us time to go find somebody else. We're going to be a four-star this uh, next season. So that'll help us get much better recruiting guys. We won't be taking anybody in the 60s. Hopefully going forward, we'll get all these guys in the 70s. So that'll greatly improve. Um, top classes. We're number three. So I'm going to need to update my spreadsheet here. We got the number three class. One second. Gotta love that. Right. <clears throat> All right, off to position changes. I think the only thing we have to worry about is that one athlete that's going to play outside linebacker I think everybody else I don't think we have any other athletes yeah this guy's going to be an outside linebacker I'll play D end but he's not as good you know what yeah we'll play him outside alright now let's look at our quarterback so we got this freshman he's going to get red shirted he's going to start he's going to get red shirted he's going to back up Although I could play one of these guys. I might play this guy. I might let him go and redshirt this guy. This guy actually could start. 81 break tackle. Let's just throw power again. 82. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go with Zeon. Zeon Chris is gonna be our starter. McFadden's gonna get redshirted. So yeah, we're in good shape there. Halfback, a 90 speed here and a 94 speed here. Um, probably going to cut Williams. Redshirt those two guys. Fullback, got the sophomore wide receiver. Got three guys in the 90s to join these other f three guys in the 90s. So we're finally getting some speed on this team. Um, we'll redshirt all three of these guys. And then uh, that'll allow us to at least cut that guy. He's gonna Williams is gonna graduate. So yeah, we're we're getting a lot of speed on wide receiver. That's what we need. Tight end. Junior, freshman, sophomore, senior. So he's gonna get redshirted. 
So we're gonna have to add another tight end. That's fine. Here. Yeah, one of those goes over to the other side. Which one? This one might be the right guard. Got two centers. So actually one of these centers was going to guard. So let's move you to right guard. We'll get rid of the 65. Tackles. One of these guys has to go to left tackle. Let's put the run blocking guy on the left, pass blocking on the right. That's it's kind of backwards, but I run better to my left. So, blocking, pass block. So, I'm going to do the left tackle. Yep, good to go there. And that means we will end up cutting this sophomore straight up. Uh, left end, junior, senior, freshman, sophomore. And so we need to get another D end over there. Um, none of these guys are fast enough to kick out, so that's fine. Get these two guys. Red shirt, those two. Good. Look at that. And. Maybe we play this guy and just redshirt him. I can get away with redshirting them both. Outside. We don't need both of these guys. So we're going to move him right outside. So senior, junior, freshman. Freshman wants to be redshirted. Freshman. freshman. Alright, so we need to move to be right outside. Yeah, we'll move the sophomore over to the left. Middle, we got these guys, so that's fine. Corner. Need more speed. We only got two guys in the 90s. These guys can all play because they've all had their red shirt season, so these two will get red shirted. So we're going to need to find some faster corners. And this strong safe, or free safety needs to go away. What do we got? One, two. All these guys are kind of bears, right? So we're going to lose three seniors. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we're going to have to get another free safety. To step in and replace that guy. Right there. Kicker. Hunter. Um, we cut the senior. Right, yeah, he's gonna get cut. All right, so we're good there. Those changes. Let's go. Look at training, you'll see the training results when we go and cut players. <clears throat> so, uh, we gotta cut 11 guys. So, let's do this first so I don't forget you. Um, bye bye. And you. Um, bye bye. Um, bye bye. More guys to go. I'm gonna go and cut this guy. 81 speed, too slow. Pullback is fine, and running back, cutting this. 85 speed guy. Okay, good there. Quarterback, fine. There's six more guys to cut. Six. 
definitely need five here. So one of those guys can go to free. So let's get rid of this slow ass dude. Let me. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll cut this 84 speed corner because he's terribly slow. Five more guys to go. What can we cut? Um, how about the 76 speed middle linebacker that we just signed? Another middle. And it can go. Three more guys. You can go. Two more guys. I'll cut these. Cut him. Get red shirted. And he'll be a senior while he's a red shirt freshman. So he's already the same. So let's get rid of him. That leaves me with one more. Senior freshman, senior sophomore freshman, sophomore freshman, senior. Okay. They're all good there. Tight end. Um, I don't want to cut. The senior, because I want to redshirt this guy. Two, three, four, five, six. Right there. Pull back. Half back. It's acceleration. Just added this guy, but he's terribly slow, but he's very strong. So we could probably do better. So let's get rid of him, and we're good. All right. The week. <laughs> All right, so once we get through with this, then uh, it'll take us to the page where we're going to reset the conference. So since our conference was, was so weak um, and we were so dominating, we're going to move out of the uh, Sun Belt. American, but I realize those teams aren't going to be nearly good enough to play against us as well. So we're going to go to the Big 12. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Missouri and Texas A&M out of the SEC and put them back in the Big 12. So with that gives them 12 teams. Then I'm going to move BYU from Independent to the Pac-12 and then move Colorado back to the Big 12 and put us in the Big 12. So Mizzou and Colorado are going to go in the north. Texas A&M and Louisiana are going to go in the south. BYU is going to go to the Pac-12 to give them 12 again. And uh, we'll go from there. And there are, you can see Texas has the, looking at the championship contenders page, um, Texas has, they're ranked 3, Oklahoma 5, A&M 8, Mizzou 12, Texas Tech 23, Baylor 29, TCU 30, Louisiana, our team 39. Uh, West Virginia 41, K State 56, Colorado 63, Oklahoma State 76, and Kansas 119. So we're going to have a very strong conference, and it might rival um, the SEC for having um, some of the best teams in the country. So we're we're going to get our uh, conference prestige moved up as well because of this. So this is where we're going to do this. But first, I'm going to change my coaching skill tree. Um. Reset this. I gotta reset my defensive coordinators one as well. So we're gonna go. No. Here we go. I'm gonna max out all these. Um, I am not gonna put it into the saving factor this year. I'm gonna wait until we have two more upgrades, and then I'll do that next year. But this way, we at least have one lock pick. Um, let's reset that one so I can set it how I want. Okay. 
right, so the only thing we don't have is speed, agility, acceleration, strength, awareness, and play rec. So we'll have those upgrades later. And we got a new offensive coordinator, and he was level 12. So, all right, everybody's reset. We're good to go there. And let's uh, fix this conference. So we're going to go... Um, where is Colorado? They're in the south. Okay. So BYU goes from independent to the Pac-12 south. Colorado goes from Pac-12 south. To the Big 12. And we go to the Big 12. And then SEC, we take Missouri out. Them in the Big 12. And we put AM in the Big 12. Alright. Now let's go set this up. So, conference. It's going to be north. Um, let's see, starts three. This will be a twelve championship. Go and no protected rivals, which will let us have a nice rotating schedule. So now we have Missouri. Let's see. Um, here's my dilemma. Um, we can't have Baylor over here, so they have to swap with West Virginia. So you have to swap with Oklahoma State, and you swap with. Oklahoma, right? So all the Texas teams and the two Oklahoma teams. And then we're going to go in the north, even though we're south. And we're going to compete with Missouri, basically, for this half. And then we'll have to go through these teams for the conference championship. We go east west maybe? I don't know. Let's see. East West. These two are east. Three are east. Four east. No. We're just gonna go with that. SEC look like Georgia and Florida, Bama and LSU, and got to look the Pac-12. Washington, Washington State, Florida, Arizona. Alright, so BYU and Utah are in the same one. Save this. That's what it is. We're going to be in the Big 12, and we're going to have 14 teams in the Big 12. I like how the Big 10 has 11. <laughs> so this is done. This is done. Throw those notes away.
And, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so now we will be able to go in, set our depth chart, do our red shirts, um, set our schedule, um, and start, set up our uh, initial recruiting board. And uh, looks like my capture card. Decided to crap out. There we go. I do not know what the hell's going on over here. Some weird shit going on with OBS. So, all right, let's get our red shirts set up. So I have to set up my my spreadsheet first. So give me one second while I go through this. And I'll show you what we're doing when we're done here, because this is very important for keeping your uh, basically keeping your shit straight so you recruit properly. And we're gonna red shirt McFadden. And let the other guy play and not redshirt him so we spread everybody out so you're gonna redshirt mostly because he needs throw power he's got great throw accuracy but I want to get his throw power and his awareness up <clears throat> running back is at the top of our list for uh, a need um, I don't think I need to chase a quarterback this season I think we can chase one next year um, but I need to get a, a better stable of running backs. And hopefully, by switching conferences, um, that will help us land some better players. <clears throat> All right. As you can see, we have a lot of underclass wide receivers doesn't mean we won't replace them with better guys but if i see some more burners with better hands we'll go get them but we don't have to get wide receivers um this year at all and probably not even next year so we're, we're going to be in really good shape where we don't have to chase receivers that'll let us uh, go chase some other positions like running back and uh, offensive line defensive line stuff like that and that's why i do this uh, the way I do so that I can keep track of what I have and what I need. And we're going to redshirt that freshman. That senior just do what he does. Backing up. All right. Freshman's going to get redshirted. <clears throat> Don't have to replace the senior. Freshman's gonna get red shirted. So I will need a tackle because I have a junior, the freshman behind him. And I don't need a center, so that's good. I'll red shirt this. 79 guy so that means right now I only need one offensive lineman I'm sure I'll need more than that but right now it's only one um, because I have three of them over here freshman sophomore senior so that's good so right now I only need one offensive lineman and that's a need that's not a want if I find some guys that are better than like these 67s, then hell yeah, I'll go get a, another guy and replace these guys. Um, that's why you do this in-depth look at your roster so that you know what you have, what you need, what you want, and I will uh, review that here. So basically, we just need one, one there. So I just need a halfback, a tight end, and a tackle. So I only need three guys so far. And so need 
two defensive ends right now. And the reason why I say two is because the senior's going away and I need a, a replacement for the junior. So that freshman replaced the senior, so I need another guy to come in to redshirt while that junior becomes a senior. Um, but this side, I have a senior that's going to graduate as well. We're going to redshirt him. So I need at least two defensive ends. I don't want to take that 84 off the board and, and uh, redshirt him. I'll just let him play and he'll go bye-bye. So we have two guys going away. So I need one to replace him. So you yeah, we could get by with just one defensive end right now. Maybe two, though. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, the tackle. Uh, you only need four D tackles. So I'm going to let that junior play in red shirt, the freshman. All right, so one, two, three, four guys. Four, go red shirt. So he'll go bye bye. So then we'll have senior, freshman, sophomore, junior. So I'll need one D tackle. So right now I've only got five guys that we need so we may end up with a very small class which means we can go top heavy with talent we can just go after some of the best overall guys because we're going to have points to put in them because we're not chasing 25 guys um first two years you want to try and go after as many guys as possible so i basically replaced the starting uh, starting lineup on both sides of the ball two years in a row and then that lets us come back and cherry pick really high overall really good players in year three um, and uh, yeah we're gonna need at least one middle linebacker maybe two so I'm not gonna redshirt him so yeah we're gonna need three linebackers so we're gonna go outside linebacker of two and a middle linebacker so we're gonna chase three linebackers this year um, so we can go after really good players and maybe they uh, jump to the headline and start after one year of red shirting and skip that 73 and that 70 let's see So we're going to need some more speed at corner because I like very fast corners. I want them to keep up with the wide receivers, and we're going to be playing teams in our conference that are really good, stupid fast, like Texas and Oklahoma and Baylor and A&M. So we're going to need some corners that can not only cover, but they can run up and down the field with the guys they're trying to cover. Um, so the seniors go away, so that leaves with five guys next year. So I'm going to need... Oh, five guys, right? I'm going to need four corners. Right. Senior, senior, sophomore, freshman, freshman. Cheers. Yeah, we're going to we're going to put four corners. Um, we can always dial that back because that we don't absolutely have to have that many guys, but we we might go after the best four corners we can find with uh, really low 40 times. And I definitely need a free safety because um, this guy with 79 speed is totally unacceptable. I should have cut him and moved a, a, a corner over there. Um, so we're gonna need a free safety as well. We're gonna need to get a free safety like two years in a row. Um, and if it over commit on corners I can move one to free safety and let's see we're almost done guys almost done but this is going to be uh, a little bit easier for you to see in a second as soon as I get done marking up this spreadsheet you know some of you guys have seen this before um, this this is uh, great time saver in the long run all right so one two three four five six seven 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14 seniors. And so far, 14 seniors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 guys. So, I have one more guy I can throw on here. He's my lowest rated player. If I can replace, that would be... Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Um, let's look for a guard because we have two sixty sevens. So let's throw guard on here as well. All right. So second. The 95 speed second. Wide receiver. Yeah, we'll put the 96 guy in the slot. Um, let's see. 77. And the 72. And the two tight ends. Okay. Tight end. We're good there. Offensive line is good. Defensive line is good. Linebacker, middle, side. It wants to put that one corner at linebacker. That's fine. Um, these guys with their 99 awareness, I'm going to go ahead and let them play, even though they're slightly slower than these guys, just because uh, I want them to be able to break on ball. If we get burned a lot, then I'll slide some of these other guys up. But we'll, we'll go with this for now. There's Bass. Now let's put. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Strong safety. Kicker, punter, kick, return. If you're doing a sim, a sim dynasty, and you're not playing the games, then you need to come over to this column that says return right here. Right here. And you want to put the highest rated guy there. But if you're going to play the games yourself, that column is irrelevant, just like awareness is irrelevant when you user the quarterback. Um, so quarterbacks with lower awareness and higher overall other ratings are going to be good for you when you use and you only want the high awareness in the sim. So I'm going to do this and this freshman wide receiver that's not going to play it. Yeah, he'll play, but he's, he's, um, let me see. Free safety. It's 90 Excel. Let's let him be the main kickoff guy. And agility. Let's put you and you. So Culver, Harris, and Ryan. All right, so that's good there. And depth charts there, extra pipeline I need. So we have our pipelines of these. All right, California, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, and Ohio. Those are all of our pipelines. And then custom schedule. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be open. So open before the conference championship. All right, Colorado. Yeah, we're not playing Tulsa. Um. Wow, really? Um. Play Iowa. Um, State, Iowa State, West Virginia. Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. Wow, we don't play Oklahoma or Tech. We have an easy fucking schedule. All right, so we're going to swap this out, and we're going to make this Notre Dame. Um, and we're not playing Tulane. We're going to play ranked teams. 
play Louisville. Not playing Miami of Ohio. Play Wake Forest. We'll find a better team than Toledo. Play Washington. All right, so let's count our home and away. We've got. Let's play at Notre Dame. Home and away, home and away. Away, home. Away, home. Away. Let's count that again. We have another game to play. We have a game here. If I can, let's play Clemson. What we got? Play that at home. One, two, one, two. We'll go to Washington. Home and away, home and away, home and away, home and away, away, away. Home, home. Or we could do Notre Dame at home and go to Clemson. Let's do that. All right, that's our tough-ass schedule because we have no teams in our conference that's uh, ranked that on the schedule. We didn't get Oklahoma. We didn't, didn't get Texas. We didn't get Texas A&M. We didn't get Baylor. So we're going to load up with Notre Dame and Clemson, Wake Forest, and Washington, and that should give us a chance. We, we may have a shot at a natty this year if we can run the gamut. So, But I don't want to make it easy for us either. So let's, let's, let's play some hard-ass games. We had easy ass schedule last year, so now we're going to get tested, and we're preseason number seventeen. So um, I'm going to go in here so that we lock in this recruiting class, and then I'm going to save, and then we'll come back in and look. While that's loading, I'm going to show you this screen right here that I was looking at. So guys in red are being redshirted. Guys in yellow are seniors that are graduating. Guys with R's have already had their red shirt. Guys with no X, no R, means they can be red shirted and down the road. So this is the quarterback with the 96 accuracy. He's going to get red shirted. Hopefully it will improve his uh, throw power. Um, so I want a running back because he's going to graduate. That will still give us four. Um, if I can find two really good studs, then we'll just take two and we'll cut somebody else. Don't need a fullback. Wide receiver we don't need because he's graduating, but that still leaves us with seven wide receivers. You only need six to fill out your depth chart. Um, he's going to graduate. He's going to come in to replace him, but he's going to be a junior, so we want to get his replacement this season so he can redshirt next year. Always want to get replace your juniors. Want to get their replacement and redshirt them so that when they graduate, the, the guy's already had his redshirt year, he's ready to play. So that's why I need a tackle for him. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. And we're good there. But I'm going to take an extra guard because I have two 67s that I could actually upgrade one or both. Um, defensive end. I have two guys graduating. It leaves me with five, so I need at least one. Plus, I have a junior, so that means two. And I only have one down. Um, we can get by with one. If I find two, I'll take two. D tackle. You only need four. We have a senior. Next year we'll have senior freshman, sophomore, junior. So we only need one, and that's to replace this guy that's uh, graduating. I have to mark him. Outside linebacker, I have a senior and a junior that we need to replace. Then we have two freshmen behind each one. I'll probably move this freshman over to this side next year. Um, so I need two linebackers to replace those two guys. I have a, a senior, junior, sophomore at middle, and the sophomore is not that great. So I need a middle. I need a stud middle, and he'll come in. Um, if we are able to, I'll chase two. But if I can get a freshman that's a 67, that replaces this guy. That's even better. Corners, we have two guys graduating. We have two juniors, so that's four corners because that will leave us with three guys the next year. So we're chasing four corners. That's not the worst thing. We also want to replace this dog shit, really slow free safety. 
and we have a junior behind him. So worst case is we kick one of these guys over to free safety next year while we red shirt. Uh, strong safety, we're good to go. Kicker and punter, we're good to go. So this is what our needs are for right now. And uh, we can update that a little bit during the season if we need to chase down another middle, another free, another guard. We, we've got some wiggle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen total. That's a that's a kind of a small class to be honest with you. So fourteen guys. Uh, that's that's where we might be done recruiting before the off season. So all right. So we're in here. I'm not going to look at them right this second. I want to save right where I'm at and save my progress, and then we'll go back in and look at these guys. <clears throat> So we're going to build out this uh, recruiting class. Um, we'll put 35 guys on the board, scout all, we'll scout 20 of the 35, get the other 15 in week one, and go through. And now we're just going to churn through guys until we get to our first game of the season, and then we'll call it a day. But we're going to get this board set up, and uh, the fact that we only need 14 guys is going to make it fun because we can chase some high overalls so let's go to our school first and see where we are so my coach prestige is an a so if players like the coach that's important to them we have a good number conference prestige since we moved <laughs> from the worst one all the way up now to the number one we knocked down the sec by taking out missouri and texas a&m and boosted the big 12 so we're in the number one conference so if conference prestige is important to these players we're going to have an A+. Plus. Championship contender. We're ranked 17th um, to start the season. So that's good. So that, that's helpful. Atmosphere is a B. That'll go up as uh, <coughs> we have more wins at home, get long win streaks, at, and uh, increase our team prestige and all that. Coach stability is a C+. Plus. It's only because I've been there two years. Um, I just got an extension, so that'll start going up. Pro potential will go up as we have more players drafted. We'll get more players drafted as we bring in higher overall guys and they get training. TV exposure, that's going to go up because we're going to play some good teams. Um, athletic facilities, that goes up as we do better on the field. Tradition goes up as we do better on the field. Academics goes up when we have more underclassmen um, start on the team. So as we... You know, we don't have to wait until they're a junior to start. We can get some freshmen, sophomore starters. That will help. And this goes up just as, as we get better on everything else. So that's good. We've got, we got some A's. Team needs. Um, it's telling us we don't need 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 anything on offense. We do need one middle linebacker. So we have to get a middle linebacker or it's going to give us a walk-on. Um Write this down. Give me a second. Fourteen seniors, fourteen recruits. Although that could go higher, and we could always bump that up to twenty if we needed to. But right now, this is what we need, so that's what we got to look for on our uh, on our board. So let's get in here and do this. No deal breakers teams with us in their top 10 to start with and there are 177 players that's what happens when you become a four-star school and you're in the best conference look at this the number one athlete in the country not the number one number eight but no guy on, number one guy on our board is this guy quarterback he is a quarterback with a elusive wow c break tackles get d carry um, he's a wide receiver. He can also play DB, but he's a 4-5, so he's slow. So he'd be a good quarterback. Um, I don't necessarily need this guy. 
Doesn't mean we wouldn't take him. <laughs> got a five star free safety interested, in, but we got to go out. We got to go after uh, him, and when he's got Texas, Oklahoma, and A and M on the board, we gotta... yeah. Let's throw these guys on board. Number ten athlete runs a four seven eight. He's really slow. Is this another quarterback? Yeah, we don't want him. We don't need him. He's too slow for one thing. Uh, DN, yes. There's another athlete. And this guy, man, is a B. Zone is a B. Press is a B. Speed's an A. Acceleration's a B. Jumping's a B. Spec catch is a B. Catching traffic, C. Release, C. Yeah, this guy is a wide receiver or a corner. So he would solve our problem at corner. This guy... Is another quarterback but he can actually play running back so we'll throw him on the board at running back who's this guy this guy is not a how is he I guess he is his looseness is a D so he's not very good as running back he's probably a wide receiver and we don't have wide receivers on the list so I'm gonna let him go now this corner he man be uh, zone or number one Bell Fountain, Missouri. That's like 10 minutes directly east of here. Um, 77 strong safety. Number one is board. Uh, I'm, I'm throwing these guys all on here. Um, they're gonna make it nice and easy. All right, are you a DB as well? Yes, yes, you are. All right. This is what I was talking about, trying to get faster players. Are you another corner? Yes. And you could play running back. Outside linebacker? Yes. Halfback? A 4-3-4? Four, four, yes. Another athlete. Who can play corner? A jumping. Don't need the wide receivers. Do need the guard. Thank you. You're too slow. Oh. Oh, 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 are you a D lineman? Yeah, B block shed. You're a D tackle. Says you're a, says you're a defensive end, but because you're 267, but you're a D tackle. So I'll throw you on the board. Be a fast D tackle. Yeah. All right, throw you on there. Don't need a center. Um, or pass rush. All right. No. You a linebacker? 277. You're kind of heavy. Might be a D end. Not very strong, though. I'll throw you on there pretty fast. Yes. You know what? We could move this guy to linebacker. A 438 strong safety. With A speed. B tackle. Doesn't have good block shedding. What the hell? Four three eight. Um, it's another guard. Got these strong safeties. Um, four four halfback. I run out of room. Wide receiver don't need guard. Yes. That's an end. Yes. Don't need a corner. Quarter. There's another guy that can play linebacker. Tackle, the linebacker. There's free safety. Tackle, tackle. There's another tackle. I need tight end. I need tight end. It's too slow. There we go. You're not outstanding, but I'm going to throw you on the board anyway. He's too slow. These guys are all too slow. All these offensive linemen. 
seven offensive linemen. Defensive bend, we only need technically one. So we got three, D tackle. Um, throw you, throw you. One more spot left. Got two outsides. Ooh, four, four, four. I'll throw you. Got one middle. I need, we do need corners. Three safeties. Strong safeties. We got way too many strong safeties. Um, two corners. We need four. So let me get rid of some of these strong safeties we really don't need. I'm going to sort these guys by squad. And you're slow. You're slow. Corners. Yep. Yep. All right, ship. We have full board, and we didn't even have to look at the other guys. So we'll come back after week one and chase down some guys that are uh, that slipped through the crack. Wow. All right. Let me save real quick. We'll be on the week one real quick. We had enough insta commit. We could insta commit our whole fucking class. Um, man, this will be fun. Can even be more fun next year. Just up to a five. Go to a bowl game. Even if we don't go to a natty, don't win the conference. If we can get a get to the conference championship and get to a bowl game, that'll improve our. Uh, that'll improve our. Uh, um. class that's coming in we'll have more guys that'll be higher overalls really interested in us so that's what we're gonna do and I want to put some tough teams on here because we were just slicing and dicing and if you didn't see what we did earlier in the day um, which if you're watching this on YouTube you would have seen it because it's the beginning of the video we, we carved up Ohio State put 80 points on them in the Fiesta Bowl so I'm not too worried about these ranked teams some of them might have some losses by the time they play us anyway Notre Dame and Clemson might have two losses already and it might not be such a great win but we got to put some good teams on the schedule before we have to face Texas or Oklahoma Texas A&M in the uh, conference championship game let those guys beat up on each other all year long <coughs> all right we're one hour in on their uh, off-season part, so moving along pretty good. So, uh, what I might, if I can't get this uh, stuff straightened out on Streamlabs, then I uh, I might start re, re uh, recording like each individual game instead of doing three games, which I do when I stream. When I stream, I do three games on camera and do all that recruiting and all that stuff. So what I might do now is just start recording them off camera and upload each individual week to YouTube. And um, that way you guys have a shorter period of time that you're waiting through. So all you gotta do is um, watch me play the game and do the recruiting and we're done for the week. And I can come back and record another episode. We'll play the game, do the recruiting, boom. And uh, I could pretty much record the entire season and uh, upload it at my leisure. So we'll see. Um, in the recruiting, actually, let me look at my overall first because I haven't looked at what we are. I'll get that on my spreadsheet. So. Texas is one, Georgia's two. Those two played for the Natty last year. And we're taking on Notre Dame. That's 99s across the board. And we're taking on Clemson. That's 99 offense, 99 defense. We are at 91, 90, and 95. So our offense dropped. Um, 
We were a 93 offense and an 88 defense, and now we're a 90 offense with a 95 defense. So our defense improved greatly. So as I've learned to play defense better as a user, this is going to be exciting. So yeah, that'll that'll definitely work. I'm wondering if the I'm wondering if that is affected by the coordinator bonus because he's giving us a lot of bonus points. So I'm thinking that is possibly the case. That that's factoring in on it. It's the first time I really thought about that. Heisman watch. Our running back, Draylon Washington. Number one favorite for the Heisman this year. From Lufkin, Texas too. So it'll be fun for him to go back and play some of these Texas teams. All right, preseason All-American. There we go, Draylon Washington. First team All-American at running back. Casey Asai. Dude was on fire with TFLs last year. Welch at corner. Second team, anybody else? No? Freshman? No, they don't do preseason freshmen. Okay. And championship contenders, this tells you how good your roster is. So we're preseason 17. We have the 25th best roster next year, 19th best roster then, and the third best here. So by the time we get to the fourth year, and these two will improve as we recruit guys this year. So we may have the number one roster by 2019. Huge improvement. We've only been here two years. So uh, conference outlook, I should say. Just got us number one in the north. Kansas is terrible. Missouri's a 99. It's good. In the south, we got 99, 99, 99, 93, 93, 93, 84. <laughs> Let all those teams in Texas and Oklahoma kill each other. Only one team's coming out. And in the uh, Sun Belt after we left, South Alabama's taking over. All right, <clears throat> let's get into recruiting. Finish scouting. If you uh, just advance out of the preseason, it'll scout the top, the first 20 guys listed on your board. So you don't have to actually even go through and do it. So this will be kind of a Opening a present when we get in here and look at these because I didn't get to see them. A gem there. Another gem. He drops and he's going to get replaced. He's getting replaced. There's a gem. All right, so now let's go look. All right, this guy. 89 speed, 85 man, 84 zone. Can play corner, wide receiver, safety. Can play running back. His stiff arm and carry aren't great. He's he's really a quarterback. This guy's a ridiculous quarterback. <clears throat> so we might just leave him on the board for that. Um, 81 free safety. Where are we at? We're first there. 81 free safety, 36 DN, what's Alex Campbell? 93 speed, his elusiveness is not there. <laughs> so he's a wide receiver or a DB, probably free safety or wide receiver. Um, and since we're not chasing wide receivers, he'd be free safety. Now this guy is a, is a running back. Doesn't have burning speed, but very elusive. Great break tackle and juke and spin. So let's move him up here. He's going to be a new quarterback. What's Campbell? I see. He can play. He's a wide receiver, but he could play free safety or corner. I'll leave him at free safety for now. Corner up there. Strong safety there. Another corner. Garrett White, 87 speed. He's another one that could play free safety. Slow corner. McDonald, 
He's a corner. He's also, yeah, we'll leave him at corner. We need corners bad, so we're just going to keep throwing these guys in here. Inside linebacker. Oops. No, no, no. 93 speed running back. Love that. Hanson, 90 speed corner. Um, there's a guard. Um, we gotta find some tight ends. <clears throat> For sure. And Meeks is a D end. Um, Bowman is another D. I think he's a D tackle. I'm up here on the D ends. Um, Campbell. Yeah, those guys are safeties. Here's an outside. Guard. Ninety-one speed halfback. I love an 85 speed middle linebacker. The reason why I do this and manually sort these guys is so I don't have to keep moving around and switching between screens. I see everything I want on this one screen. <clears throat> uh, safety. This tight end is garbage. I'm just going to move him up here so that I <clears throat> can keep an eye on him and know he needs to be replaced. Probably need two tight ends. Tackles garbage too. Yeah, you're a D tackle too. How fast are you? Oh, yeah, we we'll need this guy's a D tackle. Um. You're not very good. You're not very good either. We got a ton of DBs, so we don't have to keep all these guys backed. We're just going to shit can this dude right now. And I'll leave you on there just in case. But. 89 speed, so I'll leave you on there because you're stupid fast. Um, yeah, you're garbage. You're going to get replaced, so I need, need more D-tackles. And tight end is going away right now. All right, so let's go find one D-tackle and two tight ends.
All right, so now I'm just looking to see who we have a good bonus on. This isn't a bad bonus. It's not as good. That's pretty good. Tradition, four star, we'll throw you on there. Be nice if we can find some with multiple green like that without the D plus first. We have some guys near the top still. There we go. Proximity, B minus. I'll put you on the board. And D tackle. We need one D tackle. So D tackle, we're going to go squat. Actually, we're going to go bench. <clears throat> and he's a Juco. You know what? He's already, we're already in the board. A sophomore, which means he would have been he or third. We'll, we'll not go after him. This guy, Charles Jordan. Nope. There we go. My shirts, Texas. Cedric Burnett. All right, so now I need to scout those three guys. I really miss uh, not having chat I'm going to talk to, so I might have to schedule uh, some live streams on YouTube. There we go. 80 overall tight end. Love that. And since I do not have Insta commit, um, I probably won't have it for a while. At least this year for sure. Uh, we'll, we'll get Insta Commit to start next year. So since I won't have it for a good chunk of this season, we're going to um, go ahead and offer everybody on the board. Try and move up and uh, get a head start on some of these guys. And then uh, throw some points on some guys like these tight ends. One of these two tight ends, I'm going to throw straight up 700 points on this guy. Um, strong safeties I probably won't throw any points on. Free, I'll throw it on one free safety. Everything I had on the list before, we're going to go throw points on. But um, I can't put points on these guys yet because we're not on their board. This guy, we're on his board, so we can give him points. Can't put points on these guys. We may fall back, but we're going to offer everybody a scholarship right now. So give me one second while we turbo spam the X button and go through here. If you guys have any questions about the recruiting or whatever, feel free to post them down in the uh, comment section. I do not mind um, answering questions at all. Um, and if I start doing live streams again, either on Twitch or on YouTube, that's a really good place to ask questions because you can get immediate feedback. I do not need this guy at all. We're number one. I just offered him. We're good. That's kind of runs them away. Um, we do need running backs. Um, I would prefer somebody with better speed like this. Good acceleration, agility, elusive. He's got good acceleration, but not a great elusive. This guy is 87 speed, 85 excel, 87 elusive. 75 carry can also throw the ball so I'm gonna start by giving this guy uh, 250 no, 150 give this guy 200 number one there we need one tackle we're number one there already. What is his? The run 
blocker. He can play guard, left tackle. These guys are more. And he's six excel. This guy's a guard, All right? Let's give this guy two hundred for now. We're gonna give this guy two hundred because I think he's gonna. If we get him, we're gonna move him to guard. Also, run blocker. This guy's a pass blocker. I'm looking at these two guys here as my guard and my tackle. Leave the other ones alone. Defensive end, we need one. 73 speed, 73 speed, 74 speed. Yeah, these guys are not fast. So, just need one. We'll give this guy 200 for now. Really want faster guys. We'll look for some more of those guys um, after this week. Uh, this guy, one D tackle. Okay, at 85 strength. Go ahead and give this guy 200 for now. I'm gonna come back and revisit these once I get done putting points on all the guys I want, and then we'll come back and add more points to some, some particular guys. All right, so we need two outsides. So let's just go ahead. These 278s, we're gonna give 200 points for now. Definitely add points to them later. Get these two high overall outside linebackers. They might jump in and start, or uh, they might they might come in and start as a redshirt freshman. This guy's getting 200 as well. Um, I am four of these guys in a free safety. Let's come back and start throwing 100 here, 100 there. What is he? 90 speed, 89 man. Yep, you're definitely a corner. They want you. You, 91 speed, 80 man. 97 speed, free safety. All right. 200 on you. My dog is howling at the ambulance and stuff that just went by. That is straight up hilarious. So we have 1,100, so that means we have 11 guys we can throw an extra 100 points on. So we'll go three, one, that, hate when it does that. I'm pushing sideways. I don't know why it needs to go up. I'm pushing sideways. We are going to get this secondary straightened out. All right, two more guys after this. And they're going to be one. Twenty-five, yield two twenty-five, and see what happens. All right. So some of these guys we're going to fall way behind. Some of these guys we're going to be in really good shape. Um, advance the week. We we'll get into week two. We're not going to play any games. Um, we're just going to cut guys off the list. Go find some more guys and call it a day. Um, Got 
that's what we're gonna do. All right, just a reminder, we need one halfback, one tight end, one tackle, one guard, although I'll take two, one D end, although I'll take two, one D tackle, two outsides, one middle, although I'll take two, four corners, and one free safety, and I would take two, um, and I would even take one of those strong safeties to play linebacker, um, we don't get one of the other two. So that's why I threw free safety on there and put points on them. Um, what do we have at free safety or strong safety? Not free safety. Strong safety. I got a 69. So and a 72 freshman ahead of him. So yeah, if I can find a really good strong safety, he'll come in. All right, we didn't put any points on the guard. So let us see what the damage is after all of that scouting and recruiting and offering and points and all that good stuff. So all right, this guy is a quarterback. And all we did was offer. We're still ahead if we want this guy. He has 89 speed with 87 throw power and 93 elusive. <laughs> uh, he could play corner. So he's he's not locked in at quarterback. Um, we're going to have to give points to him. So let's just get him up. There's 50. No, there's 75. So we're just going to get him up to 400. And... Let's get him up to 250 and he's getting cut because we don't we're too far behind um, this tight end we put him on the board offered him we fell way behind we have no chance to get him same thing with this guy so now we got to go find another tight end um, this guy we're not getting him even if we threw 500 points on him Florida's got too big of a bonus difference so we're gonna cut him and we'll cut Ryan Ross. And this guy is good. So now this guy, we can push him up to 500 points. Should get him. And he's going away. And we can offer him 500 points. And yeah, we got a way better bonus than them. So, well, we're going to get rid of Tolbert. I hate to cut him off the board, but we're going to get rid of him. Mm, I wanted two, didn't I? Let me go back. His name is Tolbert, right? Let's go find him. Should not have cut him. We'll get to offer him again. I'm looking for a guard that has no offers like this guy. I gotta go back there and look for tight ends in a minute. Oh, we gotta re offer Tolbert. So he needs to go to 500. Your toast. You're fine. We can leave you with zero points. And you're fine. Your toast. We'll leave you on there. Meeks is toast. We'll add more points to right if we need to, but we don't at the moment. We need 100 more for Thompson to offset Southern Miss. K 
Kinley is fine. It's just a backup. I'm going to give him another 100. Poole is fine. Wilson needs another 100. Or more. Hanson needs to go to 500. McDonald. Give him 300. Um, not getting Tucker. Okay. We'll give you a hundred. Give you two hundred. Your mm. white's toast. Campbell's fine, Ruffin's fine. All right. So we need to go find some more guys. So safety is fine, corners are fine, linebackers are fine, D e tackle's good, D e end is good, offensive line is fine, two running backs. All right, so I need tight end. So we, we really got to go find some tight ends here. I need at least two guys. I'm just going to go straight tight end because that's all I'm looking for at the moment. All right. That don't have a scholarship offer. So let's start by ranking them here. And I'm just going to go down until I find somebody with no offers. I'll throw you on just in case. Don't expect us to leave you on the board long, though. There we go, 66 tight end. Not the fastest thing in the world. Jim, throw you on the board. Anybody else? You might be a gem. Right. Any running after? Ah, Let me get back here. See if we can find any other stud running backs that just might be hanging out because they they tend to show up. And this week, here's where we just straight up sort by 40 time. Five star, a 4 3 40 running back. And he's been offered. Okay. 68. All right, I'll throw you on there. There's a 73. Um, I got a tackles. Seventy-four center. What do we have at center? Seventy-nine, seventy-two. All right, we're good there. D the end. Looking for fast guys. That guy's good. Oh. 
D tackle. Tell you what, if you want sacks, man, get you a strong pass rushing D tackle. You get more sacks from pass rushing D tackles. They'll just shoot the gap, get through the, the guard center, and fuck them up so fast. 71 gives it two kill. Alright, we're gonna look at that. What about middle linebackers? Any other guys sitting out here? What about this guy? Junior. Got him as number one. These guys, we can move these guys inside too. There we go. Strong safety because these guys can play linebacker too, especially if they can run like that. Right, what about athlete? We got one spot left. Go speed. Fastest dude out here. 4 3. Already taken. Another 4 3. Another 4 3. Ooh. He's a safety. Safety. Alright, throw you on the board. Alright, so now all the guys we added, we gotta go back in and scout these guys. <laughs> take leftover points and stick them on the ones we already have points on or offer scholarships all right i'll take that 81 speed tight end God, you're terrible that's why i put a bunch of tight ends on the board because sometimes they're just dog shit this guy is toast not bad great not bad you're done. Ninety four speed halfback. Only seventy seven elusive, so he's a straight line fast runner. Eighty nine. What are the ninety six speed guys that have acceleration and elusiveness? I wanna I wanna get those guys. <clears throat> we got plenty of linebackers now. It's a scout. All right, all right. So we have two guys we'll have to scout next week. <coughs> all right. I'm going to save, and we're going to wrap this up. Um, and um, depending on what happens when I try to stream, if I can't get it to work without kicking me off multiple times, then uh, I'll just start uploading individual episodes to YouTube and people can watch me over there and I'll share those over on my Discord for anybody who doesn't get to watch. I mean, I won't be streaming, right? So you'll have to catch your episodes over there and um, that'll help me learn how to edit with DaVinci. So, all right, that's where we are. Just a reminder, top 25, we start the season, Georgia won. We lost Texas, lost to Notre Dame in overtime. So the number one team in the nation loses in week one. So we're going to come out 
in our first week and play number 18 Washington on the road. 99 offense, but only an 87 defense. So that'll be our first game of the season. So you guys will have to tune in for that. And we'll have a new quarterback. We'll have some new wide receivers. We'll have some new fast guys on defense. We will have the same running back. So Draylon Washington will be the uh, favorite for the Heisman. So uh, we'll see if we can get that for him and uh, see how well we do our first year in the Big 12. So anyway, I want to thank you guys. Uh, thank you for your patience. For those of you on Twitch and on YouTube, you won't notice it, although you'll hear me bitching and moaning throughout the game. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to upload that as its own file. I'm going to upload this as its own off-season file. And uh, I will catch you uh, guys again soon. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, um, notification over on YouTube. Um, feel free to make comments. Uh, if you don't like something and you dislike the video, post in the comment what you didn't like. Because I can't get better if I don't know what to improve on. Um, if it's just uh, you're having a bad day and decide to dislike, then uh, don't do that. Go somewhere else. Unfollow. Don't watch my shit. Right? I don't give a fuck. You know, there's plenty of other people else to watch. So, All right, we're gonna call that a day. Um, I gotta turn off the sound on this because it's gonna play 24/7 if I don't. One second, and we'll head on out, and I will uh, catch y'all next time. And uh, you guys take care. You have a good, safe weekend, and I'll uh, catch you later. Mm -hmm.